we had this layover in LA and we had, I ran into like this bar and everyone was just getting, you know, like hella, hella drunk. And I just thought that was you know, kind of crazy. Me and the boys, we got pretty, you know, at the airport, but it made the entire flight a lot more bearable, I think. Hi, this is Lauren and you're watching Billboard News. Texas with Billboard News hanging out with Lauren on Wait For It, your first time ever in the States, right? Right, right, right. First time. How has it been to play the music in front of people out here? It was wild, man. If I'm being honest, I haven't done that many shows um, in Korea. I honestly didn't know what to expect from the crowd. I didn't know if they were going to like it. So it was kind of, you know, nerve wracking at first. It was great to kind of get this like reassurance that whatever I'm trying to do does, you know, move people to a certain point. you've written for Blackpink so tell me about that and being a songwriter before you were doing your own thing when I was a producer like I didn't know what to expect you know you just write beats or tracks hoping that they're gonna go somewhere with Blackpink they needed like a certain set of lyrics that are like both in tune with how the song was written originally and how it's gonna sound like in Korean right I don't want to flatter myself, but I think, you know, what, what I did kind of, you know, did that role, so. You definitely did, man. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been amazing, and, you know, I've been a fan since even, like, pre-debut, so it's been a dream to kind of work with them, you know, and interact with them musically, you know, whether it be that Instagram Live with Rosie or just being in the studio with them, like, hearing their stories and whatnot. You just put out your new EP, Put Up A Fight. Man, tell me about how it was to create this new sound. It's an album with a lot of songs from like different phases of, you know, my production. So I think it kind of shows like the progression of where I kind of was and where I am like right now. It varies a lot from like song to song. I don't think it's an album that kind of has like a specific character. Did you always want to take the alternative direction? Is that always the way you saw your specific music going? Because you write and produce all your own stuff. I mean, I began as a producer, like like a songwriter or, or a beat maker, track maker, whatever you call it. You know, I grew up on rock music and that was kind of the reason why I started music, you know, in the first place. So I started writing tracks that I just genuinely wanted to. I couldn't quite think of a way to kind of express it without doing it myself. Dude, and talking about expressing yourself, the video for folks is crazy, man. So drag me back in line, cause never gonna be all right. The fire, the gunshots, the blood, man. Tell me the inspiration behind the video. Essentially comes down to how people are so quick to judge you based on things that are just kind of out there. So I wanted the video to kind of portray the fact that even if you're just trying to be yourself, you're still going to get like attacked and you know there are all these things that are going to get in your way. It's part of the deal, right? Like, it's like going uphill and downhill, like you can't have one thing and not get the other. And then, man, your style is amazing. You're clearly a style king. Talk to me Appreciate about that, working with Saint Laurent and how that was. Oh, uh, that's a dream, honestly. Like, I grew up as like an emo kid. YSL was like that one brand that we could never afford. You know, once I get there, once I make it, then we're just gonna get like 10 YSL jeans. Even after getting the deal, I think my friends were almost like not buying it at first until I like actually showed them like the official, you know, like. That's like, so dope. Like I told you, man, you know. But then they, also request YSL from you at that point they're like hey now you can send us some stuff obviously I mean you know they show up to my house and they kind of like track stuff like here and there but <laughs> sounds you know, about right I gotta give back to the boys right outside of Blackpink and, and and what is another act or is there anybody that inspires you that is kind of in this world of k-pop I know it's kind of I guess cliche in a way but I've always been such a big fan, fan of um Big Bang I still go back to their music a lot, you know, I still go through their music videos and I try to, you know, write down notes on what made them so special, you know. I think one of the greatest things about K-pop is like you're not so confined 
to like a specific genre, you know. You know, every album or every song can be very different. And I think that's like a huge asset to artists and creators where they're they're not limited to like a certain thing and people don't know what to expect, which is, you know, very exciting. Well, I love what you're doing with the genre, man, and thanks so much for hanging out with us. Oh, no problem, man. Appreciate it.